fire me? I'm your best agent. You cursed over the phone. You mean, I didn't curse over the phone. You cursed over the phone. And the customer that Mercy was speaking to you complained. Plus 234 is about an outsourced call center. It's about the people that spend their 8 to 5 day, Monday to Friday. Their personal lives, how it brings conflict, drama. It's basically about what you go through every day. What most working class people go through is about the entrepreneur who is looking for money, who needs more money to fund the business. It's about love, it's about office politics. It's about a bit of evil. One thing that was important to me was um, I wanted to create a show that one, th there was no particular lead character. There was no character that would stand out. There's no character that on all the publicity materials, on the posters, on the billboards, that it's only that character uh, that, will, that will be seen. I wanted to create a character, a show that uh, uh, most of the characters, or almost all the characters, will be the lead. What was that about out there? She's always walking about giving orders. On NG network calls and other calls. Is that what I asked you? Okay, last week I was on Let the me call. rephrase the question. Were you on your phone earlier on? I've been here for five days and I've listened to two or three calls from each one of you. I'm well impressed. But a couple of pointers. Jella Daniels is not anyone's boss, but she likes to think she is. Even when the customer is obviously wrong and is not willing to be right, do not lose your cool. Kuye is a happy-go-lucky fellow. He loves his music, he's smart, he's intelligent, he knows his work. And that's on his professional level or on the professional level. On the personal level, he's confused, I think. He appears to be a player, so to speak. And as the series unfolds, I think it's a process of kind of discovering who he is. Who is a guy who's never on a diet when he comes to love? Thank <laughs> no, you. he's generally interested in people. Personally, I see Michael, the character Michael, as the most principled person in Plus 234. Mikey, what's her story? I resemble Kulia for Am I a storyteller? <laughs> very focused. Yeah, he's quite ambitious. For me, Michael is a very interesting character. I love the character. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care what they say about the character. <laughs> yeah. Aisha is perceived to be, you know, very vain, you know, being very pretty, obviously. She likes, you know, fashion. She would rather sit at her desk and, you know, just touch her face and look for what's trending. Mugabe Bonjoko, he's a guy, young guy, just returned from the UK, um, had problems with his marriage, um, found a greener or a better life in Nigeria and moved over. Um, has is a, is a complex guy. I mean, he has issues with women, and I would say that that would be that came from the fact that he was married and he had a complex marriage. Farida is a good girl, not good girl, but she's a cool person. She's one of the call center agents, and she's pretty cool with everybody. She's awesome. Everybody in the company is good with her. Farida is just really that awesome person in the office that just doesn't want trouble, doesn't want people fighting. The fact that uh, Bernard is supposed to be from uh, Aquaibo, I was expecting them to say, okay, Bernard will come and sell them. Um, we can have, you know, the normal stereotype trend, you know, but it's just a normal guy. Do you think you're pretty? On the outside or inside? When the director and I spoke and he told me, Tosi, I have this great role for, for you, I think you'll do it really well. I was happy to jump on it too. It was a dream come true for me. I got the final, um, final draft of the script in one email and I started reading the first episode and I honestly couldn't, couldn't drop it till I finished the whole season of um, 13 episodes. Did you also love that you got to hang out with a lot of women? <laughs> Unforgettable moments was when they were shooting um, the hob, and uh, Michael brought out that tears. I, I, that kiss, the pimples came out. It was so beautiful that I actually got lost, even whilst I was behind the lens. 
or behind the camera, it was beautiful. Like, I can't wait till everybody experiences that with me, really. At that point, I got very emotional. You know, it was very touching and uh, I was shivering. Basically, on Plus 24, I think we've assembled a very um, talented, plus dedicated um, group of cast members. Lorena is a cool, you know, playful, singing all the time on sets, playing. Everybody was just one big happy family. It was really, really nice. Everybody showed themselves love. We're together, we're happy. These people walked out for, you know, for going back sleep and coming back the next day probably like 9, 10 and we'll start shoot again and you know it's it's they 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 really put hard work into this project. Very professional as in they're there when you need them to be made up. They don't make my job difficult for me. The actors have been excellent. I mean I think we got the best stuff you can get in this country. The crew members the directors so I like it's just, I don't know any other word. It's like an enigma, like it's, it's just a very yeah. wonderful person. He doesn't mind taking one, two, three, four, five takes just for perfection. And he yeah. has like the highway to success, like just hard work, period. I've worked with them on a level where the professionalism is quite high, which is good. This is one of the best teams I've worked with so far on, I mean, screen-wise, yeah. They've been very good, they've been very diligent, very serious, very, they know their onions. Working with the team, the crews, is also the work we had to make us look good and I appreciate everyone, really. But the truth is, we say the fact that they go, they do things the way it should be done is beautiful. Plus two, three, four, crew, sets, uh, we take yeah, it on point. Doing their, their That's so well, honestly. Mm -hmm. Everybody is fun, obviously, because working with crazy people, this makes it's a fun environment, it makes the work easier, it makes the work more fun. It's great, I guess, I think it's a really good team. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. if you're sitting down, stand up. If you're standing up, sit down. Plus two, three, four. Is um, first of all an interesting set. It's a brilliant show. It's witty. It's there's a little bit of action. There's drama, and it's a very well written script. It is dynamic. It is fresh. It is out of the open. It's different. The first of its kind. It's a mind blowing TV series. I think you should look out for great acting. You know, very fluid acting. At the end of every episode, it's something you want to look forward to. You're at the edge of your seat. You know, all the time. These characters are you. These characters um, are your struggles day to day. Some things you don't even expect. Trust me, you don't want to miss one episode of Plus Two Three Four when it comes out. We've got beautiful ladies fantastic actors, you know, a lovely set, the story makes sense, the story actually does make sense. Some cast members actually had to kiss on camera. You guys, it was not funny, did they? They had to shoot it, so you need to look out for that. You need to rate it over 10, so that's something to look out for. Oh, thank you. That's my big smile right there. They're prepared to be blown away, plus two, three, four, that drama series. The quality of cast, quality of actors, they're very good. It's a drama series worth watching. There are some things that are really like bombshells. There's a lot of conflicts, a lot of drama that you're going to see. Um, this one loving this person, he's loving another person, this person not really working hard, this person doing this work. There's just a lot going on that will keep you glued to the screen. And I'm like, oh my god, what's next? Like, what's gonna happen? Who did this? Who did that? Like, what's going on? What's such a stage and everything? Let me guarantee you that you are going to see something like you have never seen before on Nigerian TV. And it's only gonna get better from here on. This is the first time I'm shooting a TV series where they're using um, film cameras to shoot using red to shoot in high lens and all that stuff. New things that have not been tried before in terms of the cinematography. They put everything, the strength, creativity, into it. It was so exciting. Something entertaining, educated, something worth your work. Yes. It's like a little Game of Thrones inside one small office. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we laughing? It's just, <laughs> it's just mind blowing. And a little snitch. My fans should look out for it too because you will like it. From the name, Plus 234, which is our international dialing code, 
I, I want to, I wanted to create something that will make Nigerians proud of us. It is our show, and uh, it's something that can be exported into the international market. And that is the eventual point that I want to take this show to. Something that we can take out to the international content market and we can sell as Nigerians. And we can say this is a truly Nigerian show. Nigerian created, Nigerian produced, and Nigerian marketed show.